The title of this video is The Revelation of the Mystery. Today we look to Ephesians 3, continuing from our past two days of teaching regarding the one new man, which is the body of Christ. What we'll study today is a new dispensation, the dispensation of the grace of God, hidden from the foundation of the world till Christ revealed it to Paul after Israel's failure to repent, change their mind regarding their Messiah slash King, Jesus of Nazareth. For this cause I Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you ward, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 6 KJV. Let's break this down. When we see, for this cause, it should make us look back to see what this is addressing. And Paul is referring to the truth that Gentiles are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, Ephesians 2 verse 19, and further he is referring to the truth that the one new man, the body of Christ, is now comprised of gospel-believing, 1 Corinthians 15 verses 3 to 4, Jews and Gentiles who are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit, Ephesians 2 verse 22. At this writing the Apostle Paul is the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, and notes in that regard that it is, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you ward. So, we see here that the risen Lord Jesus Christ has revealed and given to Paul the dispensation of the grace of God, that he might in turn give knowledge slash understanding of it to Gentiles, and Jews willing to believe slash receive. And Christ gave this to Paul in such manner that it was by new revelation he made known unto me the mystery and this mystery revelation was something which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. In other words, this mystery revelation had been hid from ages and from generations, Colossians 1 verse 26, such that it was not known in Israel's prophetic scriptures. When one comes to understand this and put it all together, it is a game changer which will make your Bible come alive. As it leads to one rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. And when Christ made this mystery revelation known to Paul it was with the understanding that central to this new revelation was the truth, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Once again we have Jew and Gentile, together by simple belief of the gospel of the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ coming to be members of one new man. Ephesians 2 verse 15, the new creation, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, the body of Christ, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 27, of which Christ is the head. It is amazing that students of the word often study Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 6 for many years and yet never see this simple, clear teaching of the revelation of the mystery. I was such a one, that Christ entrusted to Paul to share with the body of Christ. And, clearly, understanding of the mystery is key if we are to understand what Christ is doing in this dispensation of the grace of God in which we live. In fact, as we'll cover continuing in Ephesians 3, verse 9, there is even specific instruction to the church regarding what we are to do with this understanding of the revelation of the mystery. For Paul's instruction to the church which is his body is that we are to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. And you cannot make others see if you do not first understand, yourself. Believer, search the scriptures and come to understand the mystery revelation given to Paul to give to us. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.